Let me show you guys something cool that happens when you search for my channel with restricted mode enabled. Exactly, not a single video shows up. What this is affecting is pretty much all aspects of my channel and my future growth. Now, from what I read, restricted mode is only supposed to block specific content. It's not supposed to block an entire YouTube channel. What they're basically saying is that I don't have a single video that is suitable for a sensitive audience. Considering that the goal of my channel is to reduce harm around unsafe drug use, and a lot of the people that are going to consume drugs in an unsafe way, and a lot of the people that do overdose and end up killing themselves thanks to consuming drugs not safely are, do you guys know who they are? Just take a wild guess. It's young people. In my opinion, it's very important that people that are, say, in high school watch some of my videos before they end up making deadly mistakes. Nope, not according to YouTube. YouTube really doesn't make it by any means of the word easy for me to run this channel. Now, restricted mode aside, just besides all of that, there's actually even more bullshit that's going on right now. YouTube has gone and demonetized more and more of my videos, and they've done it in the most sly way imaginable, which I'll show you in a second. So basically, I've gone from making very little via ad revenue to virtually making nothing. One would think that a channel with half a million subscribers could, you know, the creator could support themselves just based off the ad revenue alone. But here's what happens when I try to, I don't know, say view one of my videos that says it has ads enabled. Now what this is, is my back end. Notice how pretty much all my videos show a green monetize symbol beside them, claiming that ads play when you click the video. Well, look what happens when you go to watch one. Not a single ad. You don't even see that little yellow dot in the video that claims that a little banner ad will be shown. Absolutely nothing. What this means is this video is not monetized. And even in my videos that do show a little banner ad, I make peanuts for those videos because YouTube will not show high paying ads on my channel. Now normally when a video is demonetized, what happens is you'll get a little gray money symbol here and it'll say uh, video in review and it lets you click a button that you know, will show YouTube the video, you'll actually get it reviewed by a live person, and they will decide if they want to monetize the video or not. But because all of my videos are pretending to be monetized, I don't even have the option to have YouTube review them. Meaning I'm just pretty much fucked. Hey YouTube, I get it, you guys don't like my channel. Thanks to this new restricted mode feature, the amount of subscribers that I'm receiving every day has been cut almost in half. Now this isn't just me whining or complaining. What this means is I'm pretty much losing on all fronts. It means that me continuing doing this channel full time is getting more and more difficult just from a financial standpoint. Less subscribers means less people are going to sign up on Patreon each month, which means that in order to offset the amount of patrons I lose each month, I need to gain more. And we're currently losing more patrons each month than we're gaining. Now, two months ago, we were at an incredible $3,500 a month. That means that, well, obviously after taxes, I got to keep a large chunk of that just to myself, which, yeah, that's amazing. That is more than enough for me to sustain my family and to run this channel full time. However, today we're at $2,800 a month and still dropping. Now we were at 3,500 thanks to some incredibly generous people whose kindness I just cannot fathom. But now thanks to this restricted mode, uh, less and less people are signing up. And it's even more important that I get patrons now that I'm pretty much guaranteed to never make money off ads again. Now, I'm not really complaining yet. I don't want people to watch this and think that I'm whining. The truth is, I can support my family off $2,800 a month. But if this number keeps declining and declining, it's gonna reach a point where I can no longer manage the channel full time. Now, if I had help from the ad revenue, then this would be perfect. I, I would have nothing to worry about. Things would be golden. But largely thanks to just YouTube not wanting to give me ads on my videos for no logical reason that I can think of, um, yeah, I'm put in a really shitty position. Not to mention running both Psych Substance and my second channel, Swim, whilst having a very young baby and a daughter and a full family to take care of is 
by no means easy. As it currently stands, my family is actually being negatively affected by my heavy workload because I'm not able to spend as much time with them as I'd like to. Ideally, what would fix all of this is if I could simply hire an editor. I need to hire some additional help so that I can keep going at my current pace without my family suffering. I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, this really sucks. Um, I'm never going to quit doing videos, that much is for sure. So don't worry, this isn't me saying that I'm, you know, resigning. I'm not throwing in the towel yet, I'm still going. However, I'm currently at a loss. I hate money. I honestly, I hate this monetary system that we find ourselves in. I love making these videos. I would continue making these videos even if there was no money attached to it. However, if I want to do this full time, there has to be money attached to it. And if I want to continue releasing content at a consistent rate, I need to be doing it full time. Uh, the amount of work that goes into my editing and filming and just, just all of it is more than a lot of people realize. Which is why my family is currently suffering right now, which is why I need help. I have a family that I have to support, so unfortunately if there was no money attached to making these videos, it's just not something that would be feasible for me to do right now. And to put things into even more of a clear perspective for everyone who doesn't understand how YouTube works, the only time I even have a chance of making money off ads, even though it's a slim chance because they might just demonetize it right away, but the only time that I have a chance is when I release a new video. And not only that, the only time that I ever see a spike in people pledging to me on Patreon is when I release a new video. So if I were to just say stop releasing videos for a month, all the numbers that I showed you would drop even further, meaning the only reason that I'm currently even at uh, $2,800 on Patreon a month right now is because I'm releasing consistent content. So it's all on my shoulders. It's all up to me to keep releasing consistent content. Anyway, what are the solutions that I'm currently working to implement so that we can fix uh, this current issue of YouTube just screwing me over. Number one, I am currently building a t-shirt store and I've been putting a lot of care and effort into the designs of these shirts. I'm making some shirts that I think a lot of you guys would actually like to wear. It's stuff I'd like to wear. So what I'm going to do when I'm done the store is order some of the shirts for myself to wear in videos. Some extra revenue from selling t-shirts and other merchandise will probably really help my channel grow more. Number two, and this one's probably really big, is just simply put, cut all the bullshit aside, I need to make some better content. I need to make more engaging videos. I need to make some more creative videos. I need to make some new stuff. Number three, what I need to do is release more videos on my second channel, Swim. Now, Swim is not blocked. If you search Swim with uh, this restricted mode enabled, you'll still see some of the videos on there. And currently at releasing one or two videos a month on Swim, it's not really making anything in ads. But since Swim still has the ability to make money in ads, I need to release, well, at least four videos a month on there. Now, it's not that I just want to release more videos on there because it's making ad money. I've been wanting to release more videos on there since I started the channel. It's just, again, it keeps coming back to this. Um, it's too much of a workload for me to take on myself. So until I get additional help, I'm going to struggle to release more content on Swim, but even just all around, from a monetary perspective, releasing more content on Swim would help offset the fact that this channel makes nothing. Finally, number four, I need your help. If only 500 people out of my 500,000 YouTube subscribers were to say sign up on Patreon and pledge $2 per month, then I would be pretty close to actually having enough funds to hire some additional help. Now, I hate saying this. I hate saying I need help from other people because it just really irks me that other YouTube content creators don't need to rely on Patreon. They can support themselves just off the ads. And it just, it gets under my skin. I don't like e-begging and I don't even like saying that I need help from people. It's very difficult for me sometimes to admit that I need help. But as it stands, because YouTube will not allow me to make money off my own content like it allows everyone else to do, I need to rely on people's support to keep going. And that's not to say I don't appreciate you guys. It is thanks to everyone supporting me on Patreon that I've even been able to continue so far that I've made it to this point. It's all thanks to you guys and of course thanks to my subscribers. I appreciate all of you guys. So when I sit here and I say I, I hate asking for help, it doesn't mean that I don't appreciate the help. It's just, it's difficult for me to ask for help is all that I'm trying to say. Um, but I, but 
of course I appreciate your help and I love you guys. It's just sitting here and saying, hey, I need your help. I need your money to keep my channel going. It makes me feel like some kind of a scam artist scumbag and I don't like feeling that way. And that's not what I'm saying at all, even though it is kind of what I'm saying. What I'm saying is YouTube pretty much has me screwed and it's thanks to all of you guys who are my viewers uh, that I'm able to keep going. That's what I'm saying in a nutshell. Anyway, I only expect moving forward in time from here on out that YouTube is going to get more and more harsh. Meaning, if I'm gonna stay alive, if I'm gonna stay afloat on my little raft here on YouTube, I need to start implementing some new ideas and I need to start doing them soon. Everything aside, I actually find being in this position to be kind of exciting. It's fun. It means that change is in the air. It means that I've got to push myself out of my comfort zone and start doing some new stuff. I, I like being in this position. It also means that I'm probably gonna get a little more crazy, which is great. I love being more crazy. <laughs> It means my content's gonna get more interesting. These are the points in life that can really make or break someone, and quite frankly, this is where I thrive the most. So this is not all a bad thing, this is probably a really good thing in disguise. Everything that appears to be negative, I think you can find like the brightest silver lining in it. And that's what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to find the silver lining, and I'm going to move forward from this stronger than before it happened. Which, I mean, that's all that I can hope for, and it makes me just appreciate all of you guys so much more who have supported me up to this point. I can't thank you guys enough. Thanks for watching everyone. I look forward to growing and continuing my channel strong. If YouTube keeps getting harsher, then so be it. I'm gonna have to learn to adapt and just, you know, roll with these punches. Take care guys.